It's, it's super hard, um, it's brutal, the roads are tough, it breaks cars, motorbikes, people, bicycles, like there's a lot of stuff that's broken this week. But it seems like most people have still got smiles on their face and seen heaps of wildlife. Like someone told me today, it's probably cheaper to pay the entry fee for the migration than it is to go on a safari. And then you get to see the animals on your bike as opposed to being stuck in a car. It's unbelievable experiencing Kenya uh, for the first time, racing through herds of zebras and, and yesterday we had wildebeest jumping over the, the road, like road gapping the whole, the whole road. It's, yeah, it's just, just crazy. And small farm roads and you're in and out of like people's backyards and forests. I feel like this has probably been like the best race experience I've ever done, just because like it's a bit of a community. Like everyone kind of makes friends with each other and you learn, like you learn about people, it's so amazing. Yeah, so I came to Kenya in 2010 to be part of the Kenyan Riders Cycling Team, um, which was sort of put in place to try and take the endurance talent, of the obvious endurance talent, from distance running in Kenya and try and get results on bicycles. And then just trying to develop cycling and build a culture of cycling so that there was more Kenyans out there riding bikes, there was more of an interest and maybe get on the news. Yeah, and this is sort of where the idea of the migration uh, gravel race came and then the Uvolution gravel race and then the Safari gravel race. Trying to put a spotlight on Kenya with cycling, but the main inspiration of having these races is to bring really good international competition into Kenya. So we're not just only sending cyclists overseas to get really competitive races. Yeah, so the impact like for the migration gravel race is more with the Maasai people because this is their sort of area, their land, uh, and trying to employ as many of them during the race as possible to help out with the cooking or the, especially the motorbikes, which you just heard just now. Um, so a bit of marshalling on the road and those guys on some pretty average motorbikes do some pretty amazing things and they just keep up. They're generally always pretty happy. Maasai community, they are not Muslim, they are not Christian, we believe in nature. That's actually my first gravel race, yeah. Um, quite interesting coming from Germany to Kenya for my first gravel race, but uh, yeah, in fact, it's my first gravel race. I've been on a mountain bike for basically all my life and I did some cyclocross racing, but the first real gravel race is this one, yeah. In the beginning, it wasn't so great on the really fast section. I was suffering a bit there, but, um, and then obviously it's a bit more weight on the climb, but I knew once I got over that, um, I could, you know, find some time in different places. Uh, it felt like a sector of Roubaix for 120k and then we got to a, a road section and was able to go quite fast on that bit but my back's in agony and it's good to have a fanta. But yeah, brutal race. Rwanda. I'm here as a member of Rwanda Beyond the Game. Uh, today, the first stage for me, it's not easy because I'm starting the many stones and here there are so many cyclists strong more than me. 
totally it's not easy, but I was trying to chase. So after to reach 70 km, uh, my food was done. Then we started to survive using the power of body until the finish line. For the last like 40k we were both just really like groveling home. Just go as hard as I can and that's all I can do, you know. Um, and yeah, luckily I still had a little bit left in the tank um, to get over first. He pinchado de un llantazo, claro, tanto polvo, no ves nada. Y... Gracias. Joder, macho, esto gloria bendita, ¿eh? Esto aquí te piden 50 euros, lo paga. He metido una mecha, me infla un poco y... Eh, y lo mejor, ¿eh? Pongo la mecha y paro una moto de la organización con un Masai, me acerco y le digo... Eh, ¿tiene...? ¿Eh? Digo, un cuchillo. Y me saca el machete ese que llevan así y yo cortando la, la, la mecha así con el... Eh, pa' ver, de película, tú. Bueno, ya estamos aquí. With yeah, like the, well, the reason Kenyan riders, the original inspiration was to get some black East African cyclists to the Tour de France. But then again, the more time we spent here, became like obvious to us that it was just trying to provide opportunities to people in different parts of the world that probably wouldn't get an opportunity to race bikes. Amazing, it is a good race. More climbing and more down, it's more flat, it is good. My man, she has a big pro project from three Eastern, Eastern African, Uganda, Uganda, and Kenya to support every riders. To, it is easy to join a man, hard work, and win. It is good. My name is Wilson from Maasai. I let me to explain about uh, we are working here together as our church. This one's our schools. Uh, this one's our fields. We say welcome. <laughs> I like the way Migration Grapple Race working. I'm so I'm so happy about this organization. There was like a huge like gaggle of wildebeest who tried to cross the path when we were riding down it, which was terrifying. I just went out there, did like left everything out there today. It was the last day, so I wasn't holding back at all. Really unique for, for me, coming from Iceland. I've never been here before. And how the each day was different, it was, I, I have no words. It is, yes, also the animals, but for me, the people were more, like, giving me more. A lot of people have asked me, you know, like, is it important to bring cycling here to Africa and get people to do cycling? And uh, I still don't know, um, but we're not forcing anyone to do it and it's their choice. So if guys want to come on the team or girls and, and train really hard and hurt every day and get up early and, and race bikes, like, you know, it is a painful sport. 